three questions you must be able to answer in your youth. Um, life has its stages. There's the morning stage of life, the afternoon stage of life, and the night stage of life. The morning stage of life is for, amongst many things, self-discovery. You see, certain questions must be answered in every stage of life. Like when you wake up in the morning, your mother asks you, did you eat today? Did you eat in the morning? Did you take a shower? Did you brush your teeth? Because in the morning time is where you're preparing for the afternoon. That's how it works in life. There are certain questions that you must be able to answer in that morning stage in your youth. I'm going to lay those questions for us. Number one, the first question you must be able to answer in your youth, in that morning stage of life, in the, the self-discovery stage of life, in the gathering stage of life, the, the stage in life in which you're gathering materials and substance to carry you through the afternoon stage of life. The first question is, why am I here? You must be able to answer that question. Why am I here? The, the, the inability to answer that question is the reason why many people are walking unaccurately in life, walking randomly, doing random things. Because when you the first define purpose and assignment, it gives credence to every decision you make. It's what gives, uh, it, it's what determines what decision is the right decision or what decision is the wrong decision based on that defined purpose you have that you're called to do a b and c that's what makes having this friend it wise that's what makes uh, watching this thing wise that's what makes reading these certain books wise it gives credence to your decision making because you've defined your purpose you see that uh for example a someone who uh, a carpenter they need certain tools to build say a table you see, so so uh, giving him a ukulele makes no sense. For an instrumentalist, it makes sense. He doesn't need that tool. That choice of, of spending money to buy a ukulele for him does not make sense. Only because what he's building doesn't require that tool. Sometimes what you're building doesn't require that kind of friend, that kind of association. You have to have that wisdom. That's the first question. Why am I here? What is my purpose? That defines what gives credence to your decision making. The number two question, who is God? very important you see that there's no way you can even connect to purpose or connect to assignment or connect to divine appointment without first being able to answer that question who is god just be in a state of don't just think you're gonna walk through this wicked world without some sort of connection to god you're fooling yourself this world is wicked it's either you'll make it by god or you'll make it by some familiar spirit but you uh, who is god where do I find God? How do I find him? Young people has to have to ask these questions. You can't just walk in life acting like God doesn't make a difference. No, stop. No. Big mistake. Big mistake. One of the the, 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 the the number one things old people or people that mature in age regret in their life is that they never developed a relationship with God early on in life. And I'm not just saying God generically. The God the Father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob through Jesus Christ. I'm not just talking about some random religion, some random, oh, no. No, 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 no. He said in the Bible that uh, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one can come to the Father except through me. I've spoken about this before, the law of mediums. Not a generic God in the air somewhere floating around. No, that's not how the world works. There's a medium. The medium that connects you and I right now is technology. The medium that gets uh, uh, um, you to work or to school is transportation. The way this world and the eons function is that there's always a medium between two or more entities. You don't just connect to God randomly. There's a medium and his name is Jesus Christ. You see that? He says, through him, by him were all things made and, and nothing was made. And, 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 and there was nothing made that wasn't made through him. He's the medium. God created all things through the word. He's the medium. You must be able to answer that question. Who is God? Where do I find God? How do I find God? And what... Uh, a relevance does God have in my life? The third and final question you must answer, what problem in this world am I sent to solve? You have no relevance in this life if, you can, if you're not here to solve a problem. We're not just here to bounce around and just live life and just vacation and retire at 55, no sir. You're here to solve a problem by God. This world is wicked, this world is fallen. There are many, many problems to solve and God has equipped people to solve specific problems. You're sent to a specific generation in a specific period of time with a, a specific assignment, with specific gifts and equipments to help you to fulfill that purpose. You must be able to answer that question at the morning stage, not afternoon stage. 
You don't come and you're 55, 60, and you're not trying to figure out what you're going to do in life. You've just wasted so much time. No. You should have that question answered ideally by 25. You should know I'm called to do A, B, C, and D. I'm equipped with A, B, and C, and D. My friends are in my life. I have this mentorship system built around the reason, oh, sorry, built around the defined purpose I have. You see that? I'm rushing because I don't want to spend too much time. That's the third and final question. What problem in this world am I sent to solve? You see, when you f answer that question, that defines your vision now. That's what makes you to be able to discern what's wasting and what's expedient for your life because you know the vision that God has put on your spirit. You know what you're sent to do. You know what problem you're sent to solve. And even if you're not solving that problem right then and there, you're developing yourself to be at that stage. You're, you've seen yourself by the time you are equipped enough to solve that problem you would have been here spiritually you would have been here intellectually you would have been here uh, in terms of your wisdom and, and, and your ability to mentor and whatever the case may be and but at the current situation you're at point a but you need to get to point b the journey is gathering the right materials this is the morning stage gathering the right materials to get you from point a to point b that's the process even if you're not there at the current moment so now you're focused on equipping yourself with what you need to get to that point b that's living a purposeful life and then your friends help have to come and help to complete that destiny helpers not friends we just have fun with no you see that god has called you to do a b c and d your friends help have to come to align you to that relationships are very important mentorship system mentees the bible says walk with wise men and become wise but a companion of fools shall be destroyed even if you don't want to be wise if you walk with wise people you'll become wise it's a law the law of association you see that i want to end here um many of these things may seem con uh, confusing to, to many people if you want to uh, uh like i said before i think i said last video um scriptures teaches that you know spiritually things are i mean well these things aren't really that i mean you know but I always want to give the opportunity in every one of my videos for anybody that does want to give their life to Christ. Uh, say these words with me. Father, I thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to die for me. I receive his life and I receive you with him and I receive the Holy Spirit by faith. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless.